I'll go through here pretty quickly if you need to slow it down. Go ahead. I add them up. I've got hydrogen. I've got three of those hydrogens. And I know that hydrogen, I'm sorry, hydrogen has um, one valence electron. Three times one gives me three electrons. I've got the oxygen. Oxygen is right over here, which means it has six. So I'm going to move this six over here. Six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine electrons. And this has an overall formal charge of a plus, which means one of the electrons, one of the negative particles, must have gone away. So I need to get rid of one of the negative particles because the whole thing has an overall positive charge. That means I have eight electrons to build my hydronium with. I put my oxygen in the center, and then I start putting my hydrogens around the outside edge. I've got a hydrogen, 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 so I've used up all three of my hydrogens. Um, so I've built my skeleton structure, now I need to add electrons wherever I need to add those. I've used up two, four, six, that means I have two more I get to use because I have eight total. I can put those around the oxygen. I need to add brackets if I have a formal charge, which I do. So I put the brackets and I add a plus. I'm getting that from right up here at the top. Um, let me clear some of that up so you can see it a little more easily. And then I just count up and see if I'm correct. So check my answer. This hydrogen has two. This has two. This hydrogen has two. I'm good there. The oxygen has two, four, six, eight around it. Everybody's happy. And now I can draw my Lewis structures even when I have a polyatomic ion.